Um, I'm pleased to bring you Senate Bill 36, which, as it turns out, is not such a big deal. I thought that it was going to be an important advance in protection for student and family privacy, but I'm actually pleased to share with you that it's not such a big deal because what I learned is that Colorado already has a fairly uh, substantial policy in this regard, and I'm bringing you really only a couple of tweaks and updates. And uh, I'm, uh, I should also acknowledge that it's a little bit intimidating to be visiting with you in front of all these students. So I hope that we adults will be uh, on our best and kindest, gentlest behavior <laughs> today. We always are. Thank you. Thank you. Just like you are to us when we know the earth. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, also a pleasure to be reunited with uh, our longtime colleague, uh, Senator Wendells. Before that, Representative Wendells, we, we go way back. So members, the basic policy of Senate Bill 36 is that student and family privacy is an important value and that it shouldn't be lightly trampled or infringed. And I received some information reports from parents who were concerned that their children had received surveys or questionnaires that kind of probed personally and asked about things that, yes, might have had to do with their, their health and well-being in the school environment, but then went deeper than that, asked about family issues, drug use, alcohol, tobacco, um, and sexual activities, just any number of things that seemed pretty um, intrusive. And these uh, concerned parents asked me if it, it wouldn't be a good law to, to require parents to be informed and to have the opportunity to give consent or not before that kind of examination was administered to their children. They pointed out a law that had passed uh, over a decade ago in New Jersey, of all places, which at the time was a deep blue state from the governor's mansion to the both chambers of the legislature, and suggested that would be a good model uh, for Colorado to protect family and student privacy. And again, the basic principle would be that before a school or school district could administer these kinds of questionnaires and surveys to students, they'd have to get a parent's written permission. But when I turned in the request, I, I was contacted back and informed by our able drafter, Julie Pellegrin, in the Office of Legal Services, that Colorado law already covers most of those bases. But in her research, she discovered that there were a couple pieces missing. Number one, that the New Jersey law uh, applied not only to uh, surveys, analysis, or evaluations, but also to assessments. So one minor tweak is to add the word assessment. Um, and number two, the federal law, actually, the, which of course uh, governs regardless of what the states do, federal law also protects uh, inquiries into a student's social security number and more fundamentally and importantly, religious practices, affiliations, or beliefs. And so Ms. Pellegrin suggested that that could also help fill out our state statute and, and uh, make it consistent with federal principles. There is one other um, adjustment that we thought would be useful to parents to have full information and to be aware of the questions that are being put to their parents, and that is to clarify on page 3, lines 12 through 14, to clarify that the written consent um, is valid if the district makes the survey or questionnaire available for inspection. So, uh, members, what I bring you is a bill that uh, simply fills in a couple of gaps in existing Colorado, Colorado law. By the way, I, I, in doing some research, learned that this has been the policy in this state for over 10 years, and that it passed the Senate with only three negative votes. It was an almost unanimous vote adopting this policy. I would ask the committee to uh, adopt House Bill, excuse me, Senate Bill 36, which uh, simply confirms and strengthens our policy of protecting student and family privacy. Yeah, call the roll. Senator Fee? Aye. Senator Johnston? Yes. Senator King? Aye. Senator Redfro? Aye. Senator Spence? Aye. Senator Johnston? Aye. Senator Hudak? Aye. Mr. Chair? Aye. Congratulations, Senator Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And thank you for all our thorough discussions.